Good afternoon, Bay Nation. Welcome to another episode of Fantasy Bay. I'm your host, Mike Williams, and today we're going to be going over the waiver wire for week seven. This week is a very important week because there's a lot of teams on by this week. We got the Bills, the Steelers, the Chargers, the Vikings, and the Jacksonville Jaguars. That's a lot of teams with a lot of firepower that are going to be out this week. So let's see if we can fill those roster spots with some startable players. Starting off with the quarterback position, Derek Carr. Derek Carr has been a top 12 quarterback four times this year. That's pretty solid, and I, I think that he's going to have a fine game. He's going against Philadelphia, and it's a 49.5 point over under. That means Vegas thinks that there's going to be a lot of points scored in this game. I definitely think you can fire up Derek Carr. Next, moving on, I like Matt Ryan. Yes, I know Matt Ryan has not been fantastic this year, but the last two weeks, he's been top 12, and he's going against Miami, and Miami has not been scaring us on the defensive end, so I think you can fire him up. And on the other side, I think you can play two with Tunga Valoa. Atlanta doesn't scare you, and he had a solid week last week. And if you're desperate, you can play Jameis Winston. He's going against the Seahawks, and the Seahawks defense has not been scaring me, so I think you could play him. Moving on to the wide receiver position, a couple of players I've been telling you to pick up for the last few weeks. Tim Patrick and Sterling Shepard. I think they're both solid plays. They're both going to get the targets, and I think they're fine starts. And they're just not owned enough to possibly be on your waiver wire, so you should definitely check that out. Next up, we have Darnell Mooney, wide receiver for the Chicago Bears. I know that the Bears aren't throwing a lot, but Justin Fields seems to like Darnell Mooney, so fire him up if you need a wide receiver. Moving on to Rashad Bateman, wide receiver for the Baltimore Ravens. I think that he's a solid play as well. He had six targets last week, and as a rookie first game, I definitely think that's solid. Moving forward, I think he's just as involved, if not more. Some other players that may be on your waiver wire that you should check out. Christian Kirk and AJ Green from the Arizona Cardinals. They both are getting involved. It's not the most consistent thing in the world, but it's a great offense, and I think that they're going to get some targets. Next, we have Amon Ross St. Brown, wide receiver for the Detroit Lions. He seems to be the main wide receiver there. I definitely think you can fire him up. He's getting the targets. Hunter Renfro, wide receiver for the Las Vegas Raiders. I think you can fire him up, too. He has a solid floor. He's involved. He may not have the same upside of some of these other players, but if you need a player that's just going to get you 10 or more points, I think he's your guy. And last but not least, I had to throw T.Y. Hilton in there. I think that T.Y. Hilton had a fine game. Yes, he did get dinged up at the end, but I do think that he will be involved. Assuming he's healthy, check the health before you pick him up. Moving on to the running back position. Starting at the top, Dearness Johnson. R running back four, the Cleveland Browns. I definitely think that he's going to be the top ad this week at the running back position. Kareem Hunt and Nick Chubb are both out this week. Kareem Hunt's going to be out for a few weeks. Nick Chubb is definitely out this week, but there's a chance he plays next week. So I think that he's more of a short-term grab. Behind him is Demetric Felton. He's a pass-catching running back, a running back that Adam Scheffner talked up on Fantasy Football Now on Sunday. He's definitely an interesting grab. I don't think that he's going to be the primary running back. I think Dearness Johnson's going to be that guy, but I do think he might be worth a stash. Adam Schefter doesn't miss very often. <laughs> Alex Collins running back for the Seattle Seahawks. I think he's going to be a fine play. He played well against Seattle last week. He did get dinged up at the end, so watch out on the injury report to make sure that he's healthy. But if he is healthy, I think that he's a solid play. If he's not healthy, <laughs> Rashad Penny, previous first round pick of the Seahawks, is coming off of IR. And if Alex Collins doesn't play, I think that he'd be a fine play. They are going against New Orleans, though, so it's not the best matchup. It's not like it's easy sledding for them. So I think the upside is limited, but with all these teams on by, you may not have that many options. This next one's one of my favorites, J.D. McKissick. He has proven that he is going to be involved in the passing game, and with Antonio Gibson's status questionable for this week with a shin injury, I think that he'd be an incredible play this week, assuming that Antonio Gibson's out. If Antonio Gibson's in, I still think you could play J.D. McKissick. I just don't think he has the same upside. The Washington football team's going against the Green Bay Packers, and they're going to be losing. And when you're losing, you throw the ball to your running backs. So I definitely think that he has a viable start this week. A couple other running backs I'd like to mention. Ramondre Stevenson, running back for the New England Patriots. He seems to be getting more involved. I think he's more of a long-term play. But if you are desperate, I think you could play him as well. Devontae Freeman, running back for the Baltimore Ravens. He's also getting involved. And Latavius Murray was dinged up last week. So you might want to grab him as well, just in case Latavius Murray doesn't play. And Kenyon Drake, 
He had a fantastic week last week, but I'm not really excited about Kenyon Drake. I feel like this is not going to be a consistent thing. Two touchdowns? Mm, maybe not. <laughs> Also, a player you should definitely check to see if he's on your waiver wire, Elijah Mitchell. Elijah Mitchell is the running back for the San Francisco 49ers, and they were on bye last week, so some people may have dropped him. I definitely think he's worth a grab, and he'd be a viable start this week. Moving on to the tight end position. Zach Ertz is now an Arizona Cardinal. I definitely think you should grab him and start him. Zach Ertz is a good pass catching tight end and I definitely think they're gonna get him involved. Now there are a lot of mouths to feed, but you know how they like to feed the new guy when he gets in town. So I think that he'd be a solid start. Up next, I like Ricky Seals Jones. He's a very solid tight end for the Washington football team. When Logan Thomas went down, Ricky Seals Jones took up the mantle and he's been playing great. I definitely think you should pick him up and play him. And Evan Ingram, if you're desperate, tight end for the New York Giants. There's not very many healthy players on that team so I think that he could get some work. Moving on to the defenses, New England Patriots going against the Jets. They destroyed them last time they played. So I definitely think that they're a great ad this week. The Arizona Cardinals going against Houston Texans. I think that that's a solid grab as well. Houston clearly is not playing well and the Cardinals are actually doing work. And last but not least, the New Orleans Saints versus the Seattle Seahawks. Normally this would be a terrible matchup, but Russell Wilson out, Tyler Lockett hasn't been as involved, and DK Metcalf is still a beast, but I don't think that he's going to do as well without Russell Wilson. Plus the running game's a little dinged up. Chris Carson's out, they have a backup at Alex Collins who's dinged up, and if they don't use him, they're gonna use Rashad Penny. I definitely think the Saints are a solid grab this week. So that's gonna do it for this episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, hit me up. Good luck at your waiver wire this week. Peace.